clean sheet. Another goal for Chris Wood. It's been another good day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's Groundhog Day. Um, no, look, it's um, very pleasing. Um, I thought we did very well today. I think we understood the game very well. Our plan in the game was very well. Um, we understood that playing against Ipswich, they were going to make us defend certain situations a lot. Um, so we planned for that very well, and I thought we were, we were excellent in that, in that phase of the game, um, defensively and then offensively. We created some very good chances today. My disappointment from the game is that we weren't clinical enough. We didn't make it comfortable for ourselves in terms of getting those extra goals that we needed to make it a little bit better for ourselves um, and give ourselves a little bit of breathing space. Um, so there's always the danger towards the end of the games. One lapse or one moment could, could cost you and that's always the fear, whereas really we should have been much more comfortable in that game. So um, that's the demand for us. We should come off disappointed in that sense, but obviously very pleased in, in terms of another win, a clean sheet again um, and a good performance. And Chris Wood, he looks at it at the minute, doesn't he? He's all over the place. He's really leading from the front. Yeah, we work very hard behind the scenes, each player. Um, you try and find obviously what their potential is and you try and find that trigger that can trigger them. Um, and that's with all the players and then you put them against them in training and you make them go off at each other in training and then when that comes and that happens you can then put it onto the pitch and you put it onto an opponent and at this moment in time Chris epitomises what the team are doing we're taking that step forward we're trying to put our best football on the pitch and a way of playing and a plan that we have and everyone understands clearly when they go onto the pitch what's expected of them so um, and I'm very happy for the group you know everyone you can see in the cup games that we've just had and um, and obviously in the league games, with all the personnel that have been on the pitch, the different personnel, everyone knows what they have to do and what's expected. And Each time we can go onto the pitch, you're seeing it when I look at the team from the start of the season to now, that understanding of what's expected and how we're going to do it um, is getting better and better, small steps. Um, but obviously pleasing that everyone understands how much more we, we can be if, if, we, if we do the hard work part. You say about not being clinical, but on the other hand, you're creating a lot of chances. That must please you. We did today, especially. Um, <coughs> Like I said, we should have been way a lot more comfortable than what we were. Um, so that was the negative from the game. Um, and um, That was a disappointment in the changing room afterwards. Um, but we showed a great attitude. Our football at times was very good. Um, some of the chances, are, it was probably harder to miss than actually score. So, um, But look, I can't complain. You know, we've, It's another win, it's another three points. Um, we keep the run going, which is great. Um, but we stay very grounded, You know, that's the truth. We stay very focus we have another game on Tuesday extremely hard game down at Bristol who are in a really good form themselves and um, we have to put another performance like we did today on especially or even more against um, Bristol on Tuesday for a 1-0 you'd have felt you, at some point you could have been hanging on but it never felt like that defensively you were very good Rob Green didn't have too much to do did he? no not at all um, and that's pleasing because Ipswich do make you defend a lot of situations um, they try and force mistakes um, but again, the way that we've worked, the plan that we have, everyone understands how we work defensively and what's expected of them, their roles. Um, and we train different scenarios that we might face um, and the same offensively. So um, it was really pleasing to see. We were in total control of, of that f element of the game defensively and um, we look solid again. It's a clean sheet. You can see the confidence the players have in, in their defending and we have players as a team that want to defend. That's number one, is you have to want to defend and, and they all do from the front to the back. And Offensively, we, we're getting better. You know, we're not quite there yet, um, how I'd like it, but we are getting better. We're taking those steps onto the pitch, trying to put it that little bit better with each game. If we can continue to do that, even in the difficult times when we suffer a disappointment, we know we have the tools to come back and bounce back and be ready for for the next game. This was always in the past. This was always a banana skin game for Leeds. Just when they're doing well, they seem to slip up. So yeah. you must be delighted that you've kept that run going. And it's a challenge. It's the challenge to the group. Is um, to change their mentality from before. Um, I think it's been a long time since they've had this type of run, is, is to change your mentality and understand what it is to take to keep that, that run going and, and what you need to do. And, and um, we work very hard on that with the players and they understand. And, and it was very pleasing today. Um, like you said, it's, it's a very difficult game. There's always the worry that um, if we lose concentration that we could suffer a, a negative result. But I thought our attitude, our focus on what we had to do, on our game plan, we executed it very, very well. The only thing we didn't execute was just being a little bit more clinical. But um, that's a demand from me that I have to put on the players and, and the players understand that. So um, there was a tinge of disappointment in that sense after the game. But look, small steps, we're going to the next game. We try and focus again and, and continue these you know, gathering points as we are. You and Nuno Keynes come in and he just seems to fit in seamlessly. Yeah, um, intelligent 
person, intelligent player, um, fitted straight in with the squad. Um, and good players don't take long to understand what you want from them. You know, we explained everything how we work and, and exactly how we need him to work and understand. And he complements the other midfielders that we have um, that are playing games. So um, the whole squad are working in a good way. You know, and we're ready. We're ready to to put the battle and the fight and our plan onto the pitch. And we're determined to get better with every game. And we understand that there will come a point where we suffer a disappointment, but we're going to fight for the. For the positives as much as we can and keep this going and that's our focus for the next game. No brick cup today, is that a concern for you? Or? It's just, um, it's, you're talking a fraction away from playing, you know, we thought he'd be available for this and so did he and it's really more, rather than the injury, it's more the pain that's with it. Um, so my, my, my view on that is rather than risk anything, um, to risk a player of being out, you know, for one game in terms of being out then for another four or five weeks, I don't want to take that risk. So. We just have to allow him that time, and like I said, he could, we could easily come in tomorrow. I know he's been in this morning and, and been fine in terms of the pain's gone down, and, and maybe he's ready to train tomorrow, ready for Tuesday. So um, it's one of them injuries where it's a bit of an annoying one, where it's not too serious to be honest with you, but it's just that pain, that pinch on on, on his foot that um, as soon as that goes away, he'll be ready. And you wanted Ellen Road to be a fortress. The atmosphere at the end was fantastic. The players. Um, fully deserving of the praise they got, but the fans are out going, they can see what you're doing now. Yeah, and I think that you're right, 100%. I think they're understanding now what you know what I was trying to talk at the start of the season and, and all the way through is is that we can only do this together and that no matter what situation we face here or away, we have to do it together. And the bits then when we face the negative and we face a difficult moment um, in games is, is that's when they have to come even stronger and I think they're understanding that and putting that into the players. and. Like you saw at the end, probably last couple of minutes where, OK, we didn't suffer anything really drastic, but the crowd were willing our players to, to get through it and pushing them onto the very end of the game to get the three points. And that's what you do. You play your part together. I've played in um, sides where you know, the crowd play a massive part. They give you that energy, that extra step, that extra bounce in your step. And um, I've been at clubs where, um, especially my last club, when I was playing where it was, it felt like a, a siege mentality where we were all together and that's the importance. You know, I say it, I repeat it all the time, but that's how critical they are to us and we appreciate their support.